Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Day and today I want to talk about healthy hips and healthy knees when doing Vibhijasana 2, Wavya 2. So you're going to need a strap, a block, and have yourself against the wall. Place your mat against the wall so the long edge of the mat is touching it. And then you're going to lie this strap out so that it is about 10 centimeters more or less away from the wall. And, it, and you want it parallel. Now have your block nearby so you can grab it in a bit easily. You're going to separate your feet and face the long edge of your mat away from the wall with your back against the wall. Parallel your feet and then if you reach your arms out into a T-shape, place your ankles right underneath your wrists. You're going to turn your right toes from there forward. Both your heels are on the mat. I mean, both your heels are on the mat, but on the strap. This left foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat still. Now, reach on the inside of that left inner thigh, and you're going to move the left inner thigh towards the outer thigh. You can see how I'm doing that with my hand. And allow that energy to move all the way down, pushing to the outer heel. I think you should see the arch of the foot lift as you do that, but the movement doesn't just come from the ankle joint. It comes from the top of the thigh. Then from there, keep the outer heel pinned down, pushed that left big toe mound down. And that's going to activate the inner line. It's going to create stability on the outer hip and the inner leg. Now the front knee is going to track towards your little toe. So usually this is the problem knee. When people have tight adductor muscles, inner leg muscles, or they have weak gluteal medium muscles, the outer hip muscles, the knee collapses in, and then there's it, then the knee joint is pulled out of its um, hinge joint. So the, there's too much pressure on the inner knee. There's compression in the outer knee. The kneecap itself is pulled off alignment. And usually this happens when people think that they need to square the hips to the sidewall. You are trying to open the hips, but not to the point where the knee is going to suffer. So the block will help you with this and the wall. You're going to place the block on its skinniest width between your knee and the wall with the knee over the ankle. Now, if you find that the arch of the back collapses and it's really hard for you to lift through that inner leg and reach through the outer heel, just bring your feet a little bit closer to one another. Now, also, as my knee pushes into the block, you'll see that the front arch of the foot lifts. And that's going to give you nice, healthy foot alignment, knee alignment, and hip alignment. Now lift that front hip up, the right hip up, as best you can, without jamming into your back leg. And then soften your lower ribs into the body. Arms out to a T-shape, higher than your shoulders so that the deltoids, the shoulders can relax down. So there's a slight upward rotation of the shoulder blades, which is a healthier position of the shoulder blades. Um, you don't need to know those terms, but just know if your hands are higher than your shoulders, and slightly forward of your shoulders and your shoulders are down, that's gonna be a nice healthy alignment for your shoulders. Keep pressing your right knee into that block. Tighten this left black back glute to keep the femur bone back so you're not pushing into all the nerves and ligaments and tendons in the front of that hip, the sensitive area here. Stay there for another five, four, three, two, one. Hold the block, straighten the leg, and release. You can bring your legs in for a moment. We'll do the other side. You can hear it's, it's quite challenging. You're using a lot of muscular energy there to keep the legs and hips in healthy position. So let's do the other side, the same thing, feet parallel, feet underneath your wrist. Turn your left toes now to the shorter edge of your mat. 
lift from that back inner thigh so you can hold onto the inner thigh so you're not sinking and dumping into the hip joint towards the outer thigh and then push the outer heel down that will lift the arch of your foot take the block against that left knee so you might have to turn your hips a little bit more to the left especially if there's tightness and that's fine but keep the knee pressing into the block So your arms out to a T-shape, a little bit higher than your shoulders, a little bit forward with your hands. Try to lift your left hip point up as best you can without jamming into that back hip. Top of the shoulder blades together, bottom of the shoulder blades separate. Finding the width across the kidney band area in the back. Keep pressing the knee into that block. Don't let it fall. Top of the right thigh bone moves back. Great glute engage. Feel like you're suctioning the whole leg up as you're pushing the outer heel down. For five, four, three, two, one. Take the black out of the way. And then bring your legs together. Okay, hope that was helpful. Have a great day.